We continue with the chapter 4 of the course How to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP In chapter 3 uh, we stop in the middle of creating a template for the administration of our site So we will continue If you haven't seen the previous chapter I advise you to do so so that you can follow the different steps We have just created an editable area for the contents which reflects in this right part of the screen by now we have a menu on the left side we haven't used yet and, and our template named base admin Dreamweaver template PHP is here so by now we are going to create the first page file new template sheet and we choose new shop it's very important to update when the template changes, so this is still the default we, we press create and it creates a page which by now has a name and title too Control S to save and we save it in the admin folder with the name index.php this will be our origin page initially there is a lot of grey text this is part of the template I cannot do anything with this part of the file but here I can because it's an editable area, just just like the title. Well, so here we have our first page. This would be the page. Somebody entering the administration area. We'll see. We will see how to protect the administration because obviously this is not a public part, so, but only for the person managing the shop. So we will learn how to protect this area with with a user and a password. First thing we would do will write be writing here welcome to administration <clears throat> and then select an option in the left menu this will be a heading one but later we will change the style so that it looks cuter but um, basically there we have the contents if we want to check the design we go to the design button and we will see this now let's split the screen i like doing this because this way i can hold control of everything now we save with ctrl s and let's see let's see it in a navigator how does it look so we open the navigator you know that to access your computer it's local host and the next thing we would do would be putting here let's see it would be shoes stroke admin and with this we would see our page as you can see there are a lot of mistakes which is good because this way we can learn how to fix those mistakes as you can see it's very similar to our page but it explains us what the mistakes are Back to the Weaver, we go to our page and it's giving us trouble with this. The problem is that we are calling index a file in the admin folder. We have to go up one folder, enter include and call it headings. So from the administration, we enter here dot dot dash and this, you see how it's working now? I'm going to save Ctrl S and Drew Weaver asked me if I want to update all the files based on this template. The only one we have got is this one, but when we have 40 or 50, you can imagine how tedious it would be changing them one by one. That's what templates are for. We update and automatically it tells us that it's examining and updating files one by one, and by now there hasn't been any problems. Now imagine we want to do something else, we want to change. I go to the navigator up here and it says untitled document, this is not very smart. So we move to the administration area in the template and we are going to change untitled topic uh, document by main administration ship she shops. We save with Ctrl S and automatically we get a message asking if we want to update the administration index file. So we update and everything's okay. Now we move to the other side and as you can see it hasn't updated this one however I don't know if you can see it 
it has updated this one which is the template code and this one is in the template code it hasn't been updated so if we are a little cunning we come here copy and we paste it here so that it appears here and from now on all the template pages will appear with this text we save the index.php file when we get an asterisk here it's because we have modified something and not saved yet so control s and we go back to the navigator and update with f5 and we can see that everything looks okay now administration welcome to administration select an option in the left menu etc etc and nothing else pretty easy as you can see so let's make the first attempt to tag the database or maybe it's better to leave that for the next chapter uh, I think it's better leaving it for later so I hope you like this yeah. regards